This video is going to explain the principle of auxiliary vanishing points. Here is an example question. Note how this is a doubly inclined surface. There, if we take these lines here that are sloping off to the right, they are going at a different angle to these lines here. In order to find our auxiliary vanishing points, we must find the true angles. We haven't got the true angles, so we must go about finding them. Because from our plan, we can see that the object is rotated so that we're not looking directly in at them. So using simple construction, we can find the true angle of each side. Once we have the true angles got, we can go and proceed with our perspective question. Setting up your plan as normal, note the picture plane is touching one edge, then find your spe spectator, find your auxiliary or your vanishing points, and then bring them down to your hor horizon line. Construct the bottom of your object, and then go about finding your first auxiliary vanishing point. Note this is the true angle of one of the sides. This distance here is then stepped of your first vanishing point. This whole principle revolves around any set of parale parallel lines has a vanishing point. So if we consider that these lines here are all parallel with this edge here, that means they're directly above this vanishing point because it is a sloped edge. Same on the far side. We insert our true angle. We get our height from where it cuts the picture plane. We come perpendicularly off this line here and where it touches our slope line, that's our height. Step that off above our vanishing point because these lines are all parallel to this surface here. Now, bring down our object. Start the perspective question. Note this is our true length of the line that touches our picture plane. Bring them up to your, van your auxiliary vanishing points. Same again, the other one, back to our auxiliary vanishing point. And repeat it. Given the finished object as shown.